-huh. We have just manually de detoured here. We're not going to show anything personal that I'm going to capture on the video here. We're going to see if we got blood flow back in that left testicle. About two hours ago, this patient had an onset of severe t uh, testicle pain. It improved from a eight down to a three, unless you touched it and it was a five. You can kind of see that testicle on the left's got some echo changes. It's, it's a little more striated. But we're gonna see, we, we, we twisted the testicle twice and the testicle is no longer hot. <laughs> Look at that blood flow. Oh, hallelujah. Look at that. That's great. I mean, it's it's actually going to end up being a little more hyperemic mm -hmm. just because yeah. it was yeah. absence of so blood flow. Oh, look at that. So we've gotten in the habit of detorsing the, the testicles right real time. And uh, this is a great example of that. He's, he, how much pain do you have right now, buddy? Zero. Zero pain. Now his pain improved with the intranasal fentanyl. Two mics per Nurse kilogram. The epididymis. The epididymis. Like you didn't have blood flow in that epididymis right, before. Say we got yeah. A little flow. Go ahead and call surgery. Right. Totally agree. Nice job on that. Thanks, Thank sir. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. No problem. And there's a little bit of flow in the spermatic cord now. Yeah, you didn't have any flow in the spermatic right. cord. You know, if you're in a rural hospital and you don't have a urologist or a ped surgeon, and you and you know the torsion's been there for five or six hours or seven or eight hours, and now you have to send them into the referral center. Are you just gonna send them without trying to detorse it or not? This is just a good a good example, a good testimonial that you need to, you need to detorse them right there real time. She's gonna show me the, um, the views where we actually had no blood flow in that left testicle for the non-believers here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so what's interesting about blood flow in testicles, it kind of looks like Christmas lights. And, um, and and so obviously there's no Christmas lights over here and there's definitely okay. uh, blood blood flow here. It's, you know, the, the blue or red just depends on what direction the blood's flowing. This is uh, what it was just minutes before we detorsed him. We're gonna tell your story. This morning, um, uh, after you woke up, you. It, you didn't have any problems. And all of a sudden, you started getting pain in your left testicle. Tell me a little bit about that. I, I woke up and I first I thought it, I was hungry, so I made something to eat. Then it still hurt, so then I took a shower and then it, it kept on hurting, so I called my mom. And then... Okay, but it just started suddenly, like just bang. Okay, so you had told me that just sitting there, it was like three out of 10. It, it didn't hurt that much, but if you bumped it, then it went to like five. Is that right? Okay. That's kind of like a pain honeymoon. That's that's a name I came up with is because as the nerve goes, is the, as, as the testicle twists, the nerve gets involved with this twisting. And it's like if you're sitting cross-legged watching TV and you get up like, ah, my leg's asleep. Mm -hmm. Testicles do the same thing. And that's what fools people sometimes. This is a congenital anomaly where it's called a bell clapper deformity. Mm -hmm. And that's where the attachments to the testicle are, are inadequate allowing the testicle to spin and twist. And so that's what's happened with him. And so the, the other testicle very well had the same abnormality, and that's why you have to have both the procedure on both of them. What are so. you doing now? I'm about to start a line, um, get an IV to get access in case we need to get medications. He's going out to the OR, so I anticipate he'll probably All right, get thank something. You. So. so Dr. Browning, I want you to talk to me about the procedure for detorsion. Okay, Give me cool. a few quick points on this. Sure, okay. Um, the important parts are just to get a good grasp on the, the testicle because it can, can slip and be difficult to tell when you're turning. Do you push um, up? Do you lift the, lift the testicle I'll, at the same time? Yes. Yeah, so well, I lift prior to. You get a, get a hold of the testicle, raise it up, uh, and then you start the tor uh, detorsion from there. Okay. Um, so did you, uh, what direction did you detorse? Uh, torse lateral or detorse laterally. Show me what it means to open a book. So uh, basically, if you're looking at the testicles and you're going to detour, so you need to go in this direction. There are occasions where that's not the case, but as a general rule, yeah, that is, that is thirty percent be... of time the twist is the other direction. Correct. But you're right; it's just like opening a book. Sure. So, good. Uh, 
how difficult was this and how quick was this? So it was not difficult at all. We did pre-medicate uh, with some pain medication because it can be a painful procedure otherwise. Uh, but after lifting the testicle and uh, detorsing uh, two rotations, um, there was a noticeable drop in the, the testicle. Um, yeah, so it was, an almost immediate pain uh, relief of pain from the patient. Yeah, very good. So it was a high riding testicle, and it immediately it was high became, riding. It was swollen. It was tender. No cremasteric reflex. It so, it immediately became a a normal riding testicle. Right it normal. it was no longer high riding right afterwards. So, right. okay. So how difficult was this procedure? It was not difficult at all. It was, it was very simple. simple. It was a very simple procedure. We had ultrasound at the bedside um, so that we could uh, you know see if the, if the procedure worked. So um, it's very satisfying to see the, the results of that and yeah. to see that the patient was no longer in as much pain as he was in prior to. What, what's your advice to people in the community who have a possible torsion and they want to send the patient in for referral? Uh, you know, I would, I would say don't wait. If you can premedicate some pain medication, um, just go ahead and take care of it there. Um, get the patient some relief. Uh, try to save that tissue if you can. Yeah. What if you don't have an ultrasound? I would still do it. I would still do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would still do it. I would still give it a go because, like I said, you can. There, there are ways you can tell a physical exam that you've at least improved some blood flow, the dropping of the testicle, the relief of yeah. pain. Yeah. You still have those even if you don't have ultrasound. And, and if you feel like you made the the pain worse and you and things seem to be worse, you go the other then direction. You go the other direction. 